Hi everyone, my name is Mark and I'm the OBU teacher at Sistema. Today I'm going to talk to you about time management when practicing um, and how to avoid from getting frustrated or bored while you're playing. So it's important to take uh, brain breaks while you're playing and rotate the material. This will ensure that your brain always has something new to think about, new to work on, and it will avoid frustration. I'm going to give you an example of a 30 minute practice session and what I would suggest you do during that time. So first I would start off with five minutes of long tone scales or technique. This is the time to remember the technique of your teacher. So make sure that you have your embouchure correct, your hand position correct, your posture, everything that your teacher tells you in sectionals. After five minutes of technique, I'd do 10 minutes of repertoire. So I would look in my music and I would pick one or two challenging parts that I know I need to work on and I'd break it down to rhythm, to notes, work on it slowly. After 10 minutes of practicing these parts, I would perhaps take a five minute break if you're getting frustrated or bored. If not, keep on going. I would do another 10 minutes, um, perhaps at um, some other challenging part in your music, maybe not the same so that you're switching it up. And after 10 minutes of practicing repertoire, I would end the session playing some sheet music that you maybe have at home that you enjoy to play for fun or your favorite part in the music. But it's always good to end a practice session on a good note, so do something that you enjoy. The best advice that I could give to a student practicing at home is to always take it slow. It's way more important to play things f slow and accurate than it is to play it fast and messy. Happy practicing, and if you have any questions, remember you can always reach out to your teacher. Thank you, Mark, and thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed um, following these videos about practicing at home, and I hope you maybe learned something that you didn't um, know before. To recap a little bit that we talked about this week, we've talked about setting up a practice space in your house. We've talked about um, where to begin with your practice, and often that takes place in scales. Um, and with that, remembering how your teacher practices those scales. And lastly, looking at breaking down your practice time into different areas for focusing on repertoire, for focusing on what you wanna play. Make sure you take a break and that you're having fun. So um, look out for our next video on Monday as we continue this series. I hope you're all doing well and uh, happy practicing.